Welcome back to the D&D 5th Edition Debate, where the classes of 2014 and 2024 make their case on why they are the definitive edition. Good evening, I am the Dungeon Master, and let's welcome our next classes to the stage, the Fighters. All right, I'm making this an anything goes between you two. I'm expecting this to have full of fights, vulgar language, and a complete bloodbath to see who comes out on top. First question, explain how your second wind works in your edition. 2014, let's start with you. Yeah, so we use our bonus action to get 1d10 plus our fighter level of health back. 2024, your bloodthirsty response. So we have two uses of it now. We can add a d10 to our failed ability checks and we can also move half of our speed without opportunity of attacks. Not how I envisioned a bloodbath would go, but I'll let you two cook. 2024, you get an amazing feature at level 13 where if you miss an attack, you gain advantage on your next attack against that creature. 2014, care to take a stab at a response? Yeah, sure. It's pretty cool. Happy to see you study your opponents like that. Thank you. We are cooking in reverse. Remember, this is an everything goes debate. You can do or say whatever you want. Oh. Okay. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. All right. Let's move on to the subject of subclasses. Your remarkable athlete is vastly different between you two and given to you at different levels. Care to crack some necks with trying to prove whose is better? So we get ours at level seven and all we do is add half of our proficiency bonus to strength, dexterity, or constitution checks. And I guess we long jump better, but who long jumps in fifth edition? Mine's at level three, but we get advantage on initiative rolls and athletics checks. Also when we bonk like really, really well, we get to move up to half of our speed. Anything else you would like to add specifically about violence? Oh, I forgot. Uh, we get to change our fighting styles every time we level up. Yes, exactly, get a one up. 2014, response. Not gonna lie, that's nice. 2024, at level 10, you get to start every turn with heroic inspiration if you don't have one. Also at level 18, you added defy death which rolling an 18 to 20 on a death save acts the same on a 20. Yeah, it's probably because we've grown to be leaders and have become better warriors. Oh, oh, 2014, he just said he's a better warrior, meaning a better warrior than you. Is that true? Oh yeah, probably. For the Battle Master, 2024, in addition to being proficient in an artisan tool, you also become proficient in a skill of your choice from one of the fighter skills. 2014, how do you respond? With a nod of approval. You're not defending yourself well, 2014. Uh, that's because I took the dueling fighting style. <laughs> Shut up. Also, why does your feature know your enemy say you have to spend one minute to gain insight on two characteristics of your choice while 2024 gets to know the immunities, resistances, and vulnerabilities on a creature just like that? To be fair, knowing the immunities, resistances, or vulnerabilities of a creature is more important in combat than knowing their ability scores. I have to agree, that is vital information for my party. <laughs> Well, pray tell what vital information you have for us on why you both didn't include maneuvers into the base fighter class like everyone was asking. We would like to plead the fifth. Fine! Eldritch Knight is pretty much the same because I'm guessing you two just agree at everything at this point. And there's no reason to discuss the Psy Warrior since it's not in the 2014 player's handbook. Wait, you have one more subclass than me? <sighs> yeah, sorry I didn't tell you. Wow. Well, that hurts. What? <laughs> that hurts? Yeah, he didn't tell me about the Psy subclass. So, so, so what are you gonna do? Something violent? Oh yeah, I'm gonna do something. Wait 10 years to become him. Oh, come on! I made this a free-for-all between you two! We were expecting a fight! A fight of the century! And what did we get? We get some of the most basic answers between- Oh, I get the theme of the debate now. Can we go multi-class into another class now? Tune in next week as we take a look at the monks. I've been your dungeon master and you... You watch something. <laughs>